So, we got a lot of work to do. Hey y'all, it's Butters. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day full of positivity and happiness as always. <laughs> and for today's video, we are back in my office. And as you guys can probably tell, especially with the dual PC setup and all the cables, it needs a little bit of cleaning and a little bit of upgrading. It's been about a year since I fully cleaned my setup, so I'm sure we're in for a treat today. Oh God, it's gonna be fine and it's gonna be worth it. In my notebook, I have a list of tasks that I want to complete. I shall read them off to you. Actually, I'll sit over here and I'll put them right here. Sound good? This is in no particular order, but first, first, we're gonna clean. Over here is my tech closet. It has accumulated quite a bit of boxes and it just needs cleaning and a lot of organization. Here's a big one. We're gonna be switching around some components. We're gonna be installing, hold on. We're gonna be installing this beautiful board by Asus ROG. And I'm finally upgrading my CPU as well, but more about the components later. We're gonna be switching out my face cam from a Sony A6000 to a Sony A7 III. We're gonna be installing these Elgato key lights. And I'm just gonna do some basic decluttering, a new mouse pad, cleaning, I've already said that, but just kind of the finishing touches to my setup. That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> This of course will not be done all in one day. I will be doing it over a period of time, but I figured I would take you guys along for the ride because I love these videos so much and I don't know why. Also, did you guys see my shirt? I love this shirt. I'm kind of obsessed with this shirt. Modern Warfare 2, my favorite card of all time. Y'all already know. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Where do I start? Where do I start? Here's my office at the moment. I'll do a quick run through. This is my desk. I have a dual PC setup. I have VR headsets chilling here, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I have GameCube memory cards. Focus on the desk, thank you. I have memory cards. I think I have Harvest Moon Magical Melody. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, because it's a great game, obviously. Just gonna keep running through this. I also haven't cleaned my PCs in a while. I have a bunch of stuff on the floor. Oh, the tech closet, this is so bad. I know, you don't have to tell me. It's a mess. It's very dusty as well. Also the Polaroids of my cats, look at them. They are so good. I just have random stuff scattered about. I've got, as you can see, the mouse pad is very dirty. Oh my gosh. Soap's down. No, save him. I got you soap, don't worry. There you go. Okay, where was I? Just gonna keep it moving, keep it moving. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We're not using that microphone right now, but if you wanna say something to the people, you're more than welcome to. Hey, hey, thank you so much. Thank you. She's a good cat. Do, 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 do. I added a basket back here. This has been really nice. It's a catch-all basket and I use it to catch stuff that I'm not in the mood to deal with at the moment. <laughs> what? Are you okay? All right. What about it? Why is my G fill on the floor here? I have a full on tower for this. I have to clean my mirror too. Can I help you? <laughs> Are you okay? Are you gonna make it? Hey. <laughs> Like I was saying, I have to clean the mirror as well. I don't know if you can tell that I, this, I, I, you're so cute. Oh, also my rug, I need to sweep so bad. I sweep often, but I have cats. Yes, thank you. Over here isn't too bad. I might wipe down my G Fuel fridge. Yeah, I've got a lot of work to do. One more quick little pan over, if I may. I'm embarrassed, but it's fine. It's fine. You know what? Sometimes I think a messy setup is a sign that I'm being creative. That's the way that I look at it, personally. Could be worse. So without further ado, I suppose we should go ahead and get started. Hi guys, I originally talked through most of this cleaning process, but I'm gonna do a voiceover because it just lasted way too long. This video would have ended up being two hours, so uh, here we go, just going through the cleaning process. I have my Machamp cards here. For those who don't know, I do collect Machamp. Machamp is my favorite Pokemon of all time. Here's the first one. Here's the second one, which is moderately played. And here's the third one. I love the full art, but putting them into my Machamp binder and putting them in the other room, just doing a bunch of decluttering overall. Uh, coffee mug, very good. G Fuel, oh, I have my own flavor for those who don't know. It is starfruit, it's delicious. I'm biased, I picked it myself. What does, oh, this thing is cool, hold on. I've hardly played CSGO a day in my life. Do I have an IRL Karambit? Absolutely. I'm not much of a CSGO person, but these IRL CSGO knives are so cool. I love them. And I have some snacks that I'm putting back in the kitchen. How are you doing? More decluttering. I found some trash, some hair ties, um, a bag that I keep my microphone in for when I'm vlogging, some notebooks for caches and finances. This catch-all basket is surprisingly phenomenal. It's really helped with my workload. Now, the stream deck. 
Hi, we're back at this angle. So Call of Duty actually sent me a different stream deck and I wanna show you how it looks. It is a Warzone Pacific stream deck. I think it is so neat, so unique. I'm a Call of Duty gamer. I want it on my desk. The other one I plan on putting in my guest room setup, so it'll still be getting used, but just I want to use this one more. I love the aesthetic of this. It's so pretty, look at the blue. Something else I'm gonna go ahead and remove is this little foot pedal. I used it to mute myself in Discord uh, when I'm on stream and playing Warzone with my buddies. It's just a little, a little click. I'm not really using this foot pedal at the moment, so I'm just gonna take it out for now. I just hit my head so hard on my microphone. You little, <laughs> why is this cable here? And why is it just collecting so much stuff? That is disgusting. Now to install this GoXLR stand. Y'all wanna know something funny? I was just wiping this down and I made a realization. Yeah, yeah, nice. <laughs> what in the hell is going on here? What in, what in the hell is going on here? Get it? Cause that's the brand. <laughs> This genuinely looks so much better already. And now time to tackle the mouse pad. I've had this mouse pad for years. It's a Skyrim one. It's not available anymore, I don't think, but I'm putting this Yu Yu Hakusho one on and I'm so excited. Look at the bright colors, look at the art. Um, I do shout out the artist here in a moment, but Yu Yu Hakusho is one of my favorite anime of all time. Definitely my favorite shonen. But here is the business card of the artist if you guys are interested. I went ahead and took care of this mouse pad. Now time to clean this one. Also, here's my old vlogging camera. <laughs> Excuse me, so much dust. Oh look, another bobby pin. <laughs> and kiwi, Whew, I'm not gonna make it. All right, this is pretty gross. See my mouse pad with all the crumbs and stuff on it? Yeah. Not so good, but that's okay. That's what today is for. Oh my gosh, I can see the dust just lifting up. I got it. <laughs> I gotta take this outside. Full transparency, I did take this outside and shake it, but if you really wanna deep clean a mouse pad, I'm just telling you, dish soap, bathtub, let that thing soak, scrub it a bit. You will be surprised how much dirt and grime these things contain. I was switching out this mouse pad, so I didn't do a deep cleaning, to be honest. By the way, don't uh, throw your RGB mouse pads into the bathtub. Not a good idea. Not good. Look at me wiping down the desk and the keyboard. Yes, I'm switching this out too in a bit, but still trying to spot clean where I can. Any progress is good. There we go. That looks so much better. Oh my gosh, look at it. Yeah, I'll clean soap too. Get it, I'll clean soap because he's soap. Soap is used to clean, get it? That's funny, that's funny. That was unintentional too. It wasn't funny. And then what if we put this under the, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> look at all the color, yes. Can you tell how excited I was about having a cleaner setup? <laughs> I definitely recommend uh, doing your best to keep up and keep your workspace clean. A clean workspace means a clean mind and more productivity and just happiness overall. Perfect. Okay, so this is the first little bit of troubleshooting we're doing for the video. This is exciting. Okay, so my stream deck, this one in particular, uh, was not working. It was not being recognized in the USB port. So I said, huh, that's weird. So I tried out this one as well. It also didn't work. I said, huh, that's weird. So now, USB, and we're gonna put it in. Hmm, nothing, not even a beep. I restarted my PC and the top two USB ports at the top of my motherboard do not work. I'm not surprised, I've had this PC for a very long time. My PC is in desperate need of an upgrade, so here's the plan. I already had plans to upgrade this motherboard and CPU in my gaming PC, so might as well just take the motherboard and CPU in this one and throw it on in there, why not? But that is something I do not feel like doing right now, so I'm not going to. I have honestly done a really good job cleaning off the top of my desk. I'm very happy with it so far. Look at all the color, I love it. But yeah, it's all clean, decluttered, which is very nice. But now I think I wanna focus on getting the floor clean because it is dirty. I'm also gonna go ahead and sort through some stuff that's on the floor and uh, we'll clean the floor. Yes, floor. <laughs> hey, cat. <laughs> Do you hear the other one? <laughs> She's about to jump, ready for it? <laughs> Please don't mind them. <laughs> Truth be told, it took me so long, so long to clean out my tech closet that I decided to make it into another video. 
I go through everything in my tech closet, including my Pokemon fairy card binder. I find some stuff for the cats and they annoy me the whole time. Look at this wholesome moment when I found a music box. There was so much extra footage that I had to put it on my second channel. Feel free to click the link down below to check it out. All right, you guys are gonna be so proud of me. Okay, ready, ready? Look at how clean it is. Look at the boxes. That thing lights up up there. Should I light it up? Yeah, there we go. I went ahead and put up a bunch of boxes that I like and or have equipment in them. As you can see, so much better, so much less cluttered. And here's my lower level of my tech closet. Uh, printer, don't mind the Pokemon cards. My travel laptop, my other laptop, my Xbox Series X, and my Xbox One, and my PS4 Pro. They have so many names, I don't know. And my headsets as well. But I wanna find a way to put my VR headsets on display. If y'all have any ideas, let me know. But if you walk into my office, I've pretty much cleaned up everything off the floor. I'm gonna be running my Roomba here in a bit because I desperately, desperately need to. I went ahead and switched out my mouse pad as well and my gosh, this is so loud, so obnoxious. I love everything about this. I am backing up some data from my Steam games at the moment. I'm gonna have my Roomba in here and I'm gonna let that thing run, but it's time to install the new motherboard and CPU. Market. Now here comes the fun part. <laughs> Not so much. I had to take my PC out into the garage to prepare for this dusting process. Do you see how bad it looks? I know. I know. I don't like looking at this footage. I use a DataVac electric duster. As you can see, wee, there goes all the dust flying. I hold down my fans uh, while I continue dusting them because I don't want my PC to fly away. Speaking of flying, look at all that dust. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of dust. And then I wipe it down with a cloth just to make sure it's as clean as it can be. All right, next up, I'm switching out the motherboard and CPU in this PC. This is my gaming PC, by the way. I'm gonna be using the i7-12700K. I actually worked with Intel for a video on this CPU, so I'm really, really, really excited to put it into my PC. Here's the motherboard I'm using as well, and the RAM, yes, very good. Here's a CPU, here's a quick speed run of putting a CPU on a motherboard and the RAM, boom, bam, thank you, ma'am. M.2, you know how it is. I don't know what else to describe in this process. Uh, I'm peeling away some plastic. I really wanna get back into more tech-related stuff. I wanna build my sister's PC. I wanna build just more PCs in general. I feel like I've really limited myself in the realm of technology and I wanna use more peripherals. I wanna check out more monitors. I feel like 2023 is the year where I'm really eager and hungry to check out all different kinds of tech. So if you guys have anything that piques your interest, comment down below and let me know. I know Corsair has a bendable monitor, which I think is fascinating. Also, I made sure to slow down here in the uh, thermal paste process so you guys can see how much I'm putting on because that is a complaint in some of my past PC videos. You can't tell how much thermal paste I'm using. Uh, but here you go, here's the PC. It's looking great and I can say to this day, functioning great too. I love it. Actually, this graphics card is gonna be replaced here soon in the video. And for the post-test, uh, things are powering on. Do I get the screen? Um, oh, there it is. Okay, we're good. Yeah. Hi, I don't even have my mic hooked up, but I need to print off something and get it sent out in the mail. So I'm out of ink. So I guess we're going to replace the ink cartridges right now. Good God. <laughs> Why is it so loud? What are you mad about? While this is figuring itself out. Don't interrupt me. While this is figuring itself out, I do want to also go ahead and mention, um, after working in the tech industry, working with printers and stuff, um, recycle the cartridges if you can, or go get them refilled. That's an option too. I know Staples does recycling. Uh, Fry's Electronics used to, and then it's not around anymore. Can I help you? I know! Ah! I leave the room for a second, and my printer just decides to go ahead and print the test page, so we're good to go. Hi guys. So. Do you see the bulbs right here? I have an LED strip light on the back of Poe's tank. It is at a perfect angle where you can see the bulbs and that is one of my pet peeves when it comes to LED strip lights or really any RGB lights at all is seeing the bulbs. I don't know what it is. It makes me angry in my setup. If you don't mind it, that's cool. In my setup, no. And honestly, my G Fuel fridge just looks really empty. I wanna spruce it up a little bit specifically for the background of my videos. So let's get to it. What if I redirect this LED strip light up Bit. Nope, not any better. I'm just gonna move the platform more, I think. Ah, I 
can't make the bulbs go away. Okay, I have another plan. All right, I can't find tape right now, but I will show you this product that I have. I think they call it a diffuser channel, but basically you take this, you put the LED light strip here and it diffuses the bulb. So you don't see the bulbs, but you see the light and the color. How do I use this properly? <laughs> my cat's in my chair. Can I have my chair back, please? I need to look at the thing. Excuse me. Okay, it's a little better. Maybe if I move the fridge more, Ugh. How about now? I can't make the bulbs go away. I put a diffuser channel on them. I taped them down so you can't see them, but they still popping up on the damn fridge. Okay, I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. I'm covering my eyes because if I show my eyes, my camera focuses on me, ready? Ta-da. Okay, this is good progress. I like this. We'll stick with this for now. I don't know if this B-roll is gonna help in demonstrating what I'm trying to show here, but this is the LED strip light. I didn't put the channel on the entire strip light because I didn't need to. Uh, only the bottom to where it reflects on the fridge, but there you go. I taped it down. It works, I guess. And now it's time to clean the G Fuel fridge. How exciting. Taking out all of these shakers. Oh, I found some stuff. Oh, this is cool. Okay, Dr. Disrespect had a G Fuel can. How fun is that? Black on Blackberry is actually one of my favorite flavors. I found this Resident Evil can as well. Just doing a deep cleaning of the G Fuel fridge. And at this point, I was playing Tetris with myself. I was trying to figure out what's the best way to display my G Fuel cans. I finally figured out after some trial and error. And look at this sped up footage of filling up the fridge with a G Fuel Starfruit can. That was fun. And here are the tubs that are going on top as well. I'll be adding more to this as the video goes on. And here's some more Black on Blackberry stuff. How cool. And I want to organize this so that Starfruit is the one mostly on display because it's my flavor. Okay, I want to look at it. It's cool. But most importantly, how does it look on my face cam? for videos and streams. All right, so hear me out. It looks so good now. Look at all the stock G Fuel cans in there. It's me. It's so cool. It's super colorful. Let me change the colors just for fun. If I do this one, oh, look how good it looks. You don't see the bulbs anymore. That's so nice. What about this one? I like that too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it looks. Yay, that was so worth the effort. My cats love to sit on this chair behind me when I'm playing games or if I'm just at my setup. So I gotta brush it every now and then. It had been a while since I did. Uh, as you could tell, Krista definitely helps out as well. She pops in and says, hello. There she is. <laughs> Very helpful. Thank you, cat. Now it's time to replace the motherboard that is in my streaming PC. I originally had the Z370 Taichi, which was amazing and worked so well for years. But as I mentioned in the video earlier, uh, the two top USB ports don't work anymore. And as a streamer, I kind of need to have as many USB ports as possible. I wasn't able to use my foot pedal and I wasn't able to use my stream deck. So here we go. Just upgrading the motherboard so I can have more USB ports and for it to be more efficient, obviously. Taking out the Z370 Taichi. I love that board. That thing was so cool. And now we're putting in the Z490, I believe is what it is. But here you go. Here's what it looks like. Later on in the video, I actually replaced something else in this PC too. Uh, here I am just kind of cleaning where the streaming PC was and cleaning the glass side panel. And here is the final result for now, which isn't a final result. That's that's not how it works. It's just the current result. Yes, I do love this PC, though. I built it originally back in 2018, and it has been running great besides a couple of replacements here and there. But it is what it is. Oh, look, we're back at the kitchen table because we're replacing the power supply. Yeah, how exciting. Um, I've honestly been needing to replace this power supply ever since I got it. I think the first month or so, for some reason, this power supply would randomly shut off my PC once a week. And then it stopped doing that for about a year and then it started doing it again. So I, I should have taken that as a sign to replace it as soon as I could. But hey, better late than never. If I'm going to offer you guys some advice, if you've got a power supply that's acting up, replace that, okay? You don't want to zap any other components. Just do it. I know it's a pain in the butt. Just do it. Get it done. But here is the final result of my streaming PC. And I left my setup on for about a week to see if it was shut off. So far, so good. And here is my cat. She is so good. She is a loaf on the floor. Yes. Today, we're gonna to be replacing my webcam with this a7 III. Currently, I have a Sony a6000, which has worked phenomenally for about four years now. And I'm talking constantly on, constantly working, recording, streaming. It has done a great job. Now, the Sony a7 III, I know, I know it's overkill, but hear me out. I originally bought this to be my vlogging camera for when I'm here at home, but the audio port gave out 13 months after I bought it. Isn't that just great? But y'all know me, I ain't letting no technology go to waste. This will be my new webcam. To use a camera like this as a webcam, I do recommend the Elgato Cam Link. I used it for my other camera, works great. Just turns it into a webcam. Also, you do want to get one of these. This is a battery that pretty much plugs into the wall so you can keep your camera plugged in and charged 
all the time. I'm gonna go ahead and replace these cameras and I will see you here in a bit. Would you look at that? I got some double-sided tape on the back of this little power adapter. I'm putting it on the back of the, the, the desk leg and I'm doing a little bit of cable management. So here in the HDMI display, I'm turning this off so it doesn't show the actual information on the webcam while I'm streaming. So next up, I'm going to this face eye setting here, and it's already turned on for me, but make sure it's on so that the webcam is always focusing on you. Full transparency, I forgot to restart my PC after having it powered on for a week to test out the power supply. So installing this new camera, the before footage is choppy, but that's just because I had to restart and I completely forgot. But this is the framing of the camera before. You guys, you guys. Look at how good this looks. Oh, and there's no blur or anything? Are you serious? This looks so good. You can see my actual streaming and recording room more. I love this. Why didn't I do this sooner? I would like to try some RGB. There seems to be a little bit of flashing here. I think I can adjust that with um, shutter speed. Oh, look at how bright this is. Oh, I love it. This one's pretty too. I added a new lamp, by the way, so you can really see the RGB on the side of my face. I'm really happy with the way that looks. I feel like I'm underwater. I'm into that. If I do the RGB really low, let's see. You can kind of see the flashiness, but not as bad as I thought, actually. And I can still kind of see it. I'm quite pleased with this. I would like to mess around and maybe add the uh, key lights on either side as well to kind of diffuse any shadows going on. I look extremely tired. I mean, I am, but I look extra tired. This is my uh, gaming PC right now, so I don't have any games up at the moment, but this is how the face cam looks. And also over here, that looks great. All right, this is all the work that I'm doing tonight. This is what I got set up lighting wise. I have an Elgato key light here, Elgato key light here, ring light is on. RGB lights are on. None of that little horizontal line thing going on. I think this looks pretty good. Oh, this upgrade is so exciting. I'm upgrading my RTX 3080 to an RTX 4070 Ti. It's one from MSI. Look at how cool the fans look. And I gotta say, do you see that price? Originally $925. I got it for $786. Are you kidding me? It was an open box return at Micro Center and it was missing the power adapter. So I said, I don't mind getting the power adapter separately. So I did. Also, while I was installing this, I accidentally leaned against the uh, bottom filter of the PC. So I got all that dirt on my shirt. Great. Here we go, it's powering on. Look at how cool it looks. Look at the RGB. Also, it's a really heavy card, so I'm using my tiny Tina to support it until I vertically mount it. Now we're gonna go ahead and replace this Asus ROG mouse and keyboard with some SteelSeries peripherals. I'm so excited. I've wanted to try SteelSeries peripherals for a hot minute. I haven't used them since college. As you could tell, I'm quite pleased with the quality. I had to swap out, obviously, my little ghost keycap in there, but I have been using this. I'm using this to edit right now. Love it. This SteelSeries headset, we're gonna be making a little bit of a color change to it. We're gonna be using the Artist Nova booster pack. I went with the mint color, I believe, which looks like a smiley face in the packaging. Very easy process to switch out the headband and the uh, side tags, I guess they are magnetic. So super easy. I think it makes for a lovely pop of color. I'm very happy with the way this looks and I was hoping it would match my eyeballs. And guess what? Hey, Post Production Butters here. I want to show you guys the final result of the Steel Series headset. I gotta say, it matches my eyes more than I was expecting. I'm really, really, really happy with the way this looks. Yes. <laughs> I also vlogged the process of putting this Damascus wrapping on my Xbox Series X, but I deleted the footage. Here's the final result, though. I'm so happy with it. It's so cool. That's all I've got. And now for the final big upgrade in my setup. When's the last time I saw my floor like this? I changed out the rug, and oh my gosh, I love this rug so much. It's very warm colored. It's got some blues in it. It's got kind of that half and half split design. I thought it was super unique. I got it for $200, might I add, which I think is a phenomenal price for the size of this rug and the quality. Somebody mentioned that it looks like Post Tank had leaked and the design leaked all the way to my setup. And I think that is so cool and makes me love this rug even more. And now after all that cleaning, time for the final reveal. <laughs> you gonna come sit in my lap? Okay, you can do that. The transformation my setup has made has been monumental. I mean, did you see where we started out? There were components everywhere. It was dusty. Thank you, Kat. If you don't remember, I'll put in some B-roll to remind you. It was very cluttered. There was lots of room for improvement. I couldn't even walk into my office without having to step over a bunch of stuff in front of my tech closet. It is so clean now. I finally installed a bunch of equipment and peripherals that I've been needing to. We got my Elgato key lights up. I have a new keyboard and mouse from SteelSeries. Thank you guys so much. 
much. I got new mouse pads, I fixed my stream deck, all my scuff controllers are on display. I installed an MSI RTX 4070 Ti that I got for a really good price, friendly reminder. I fixed up my G Fuel fridge and got a bunch more flavors in. The fridge is stocked with a Starfur G Fuel can. My streaming PC has an entirely new motherboard and CPU and a new power supply. I've been needing to do that for years. I genuinely lose track of how much stuff I did in this video. It's been a couple of months recording this, but I gotta say the final result, definitely worth it. I cleaned my giant stand-up mirror. I got a new lamp next to it, by the way, too, which I really needed. Thrifted for 20 bucks, by the way. And we can't forget the new rug. I love this thing. It's got some blues, some warm beiges in it. It kind of reminds me of ink, and I like that. And I'm really excited to build around this rug and make this room seem more warm instead of sterile, like a classic office. The other rug was cool, but it was time to get something a bit more homey. I think my cat agrees, right? Yeah. Some things I still want to do for my setup, I want to cable manage, obviously. I want to upgrade my primary monitor. One of these days I want to get a new couch for in here, but that's just a matter of when I go thrifting if I find the perfect piece, which may or may not happen. Hi cat. Look how fluffy she is. Do you see her? <laughs> Overall though, super happy with the transformation. What do you guys think? Comment down below and let me know. I want to make more changes and improvements, but I promise you, gaming setup, office tour 2023 video is coming soon. I promise. But that's all I've got. Like, comment, please subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video whenever I make. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'm so glad I did this. I feel so much better. I love this room. It's a dream come true. If you told 14-year-old Hannah that this would be her office at the age of 28, she would not believe you.